Hey everybody, astrologer Carmen DeLuccio here. And as you probably know, we got a very powerful total solar eclipse coming up tomorrow, August 21st, 2017. And if you live in the United States, you for sure know about this eclipse because the path of totality of this eclipse is traveling from coast to coast, from one corner of the country to the other. And um, this video is going to be more about talking about this eclipse from sort of a evolutionary personal perspective. Um, however, I do want to mention that this eclipse will have an impact on the United States as a country. There will be some changes. There already has been over the months with Trump being president. This eclipse will impact Donald Trump. It is hitting his astrology chart. Um, I did write an article about it three weeks ago you can see it on collective evolution it's called the great american eclipse an astrological analysis and uh, there's more information i get into more detail in that article now let's talk about this eclipse from a, what it could mean for each of us as individuals um, more from like an evolutionary and even personal development perspective eclipses happen every six months and um, the effects of, of an eclipse is usually strongest like the month of the eclipse like weeks leading up to it weeks following or even the month following um, however they have a they still have kind of the, the eclipses are, are still an important part of the backdrop for the following six months right and sometimes maybe even beyond that as well so every time there, we enter eclipse season which we're in right now we have a lunar eclipse solar eclipse sometimes we have three eclipses and that eclipse season could feel like turning a new chapter and they usually bring some sort of ending, some sort of beginnings. Um, some eclipses, there might be more of sort of a new beginning energy and some eclipses can be more of a dramatic ending energy or, or a mix of both. Now, ultimately the effects of an eclipse on you specifically really depends on, uh, if you really wanna get specific about it, you have to look at your natal chart, which is based on the date, time and location of your birth and from there you can see your astrological blueprint you can have an astrologer like myself look at it um, and you can see okay well what what area of my life is this affecting um, but in this video I'm going to talk about just the overall energies of the eclipse uh, based on what sign it's in the planets it's aspecting which is it's going to be it's just sort of a broad interpretation that you know some of it will make sense to you on some level but it might be affecting a different era of your life than uh you know your friend or other people that you know so this eclipse is in leo and um there's ever since may the north node and south nodes of the moon um, they switch from the Virgo Pisces axis, which are opposite signs, to the Leo Aquarius axis, which are opposite signs. And the North Node is basically where the pathway of the moon and the apparent pathway of the sun, from our perspective, is basically where they meet. And so they, um, sorry, <laughs> that's where they meet. And so whenever there's a new moon or full moon near those points, that is basically when we have eclipses and the closer the new moon or full moon is to those points then the more totality the eclipse has like in this case so this case is a total eclipse now there's been a sort of um like i was saying before there's been a there's an evolutionary push the north node is in leo so this is about moving more in the leo direction in whatever way that makes sense for you. And the south node is Aquarius, which represents there could be some changes, some endings, some aspects of Aquarian energy that potentially could be holding us back, which uh, this is gonna unfold over the next year, year and a year and a half or so, when there's more, there's gonna be a sorry, solar eclipse in Aquarius coming up. And we just recently had a lunar eclipse in Aquarius, which you can read about on Collective Evolution as well. Now with this eclipse, um, the, the theme of new beginnings is extremely strong with this eclipse because it is a total eclipse and really close to the north node and um, in leo leo is about creative expression leo is about shining shining from the heart being heart-centered expressing your creativity expressing love and just expressing yourself in general um, from a heart-centered position now leo is also about is is the leader Leo is the performer. Leo is the superstar. 
Um, Leo energy at its most positive expression, like Leo likes attention, it likes to shine. And the, the, the real way and the most highest expression method of doing that is by sharing from the heart, is from coming from the heart, is from performing, entertaining, uh, making people feel good from a heart-centered place. When Leo energy is expressed in a negative way, um, there can be sort of a demanding of attention. Um, it can be egotistical, dramatic, um, you know, which could manifest with this eclipse in Leo. But because it's a North Node eclipse, um, you know, it's, it's more important, I think, to focus on what are the positive energies of Leo, because ultimately this is about embodying the positive qualities of Leo in whatever way makes sense for you. So, for example, um, it, you know, depending on where it is in your natal chart, maybe this is about, you know, integrating more of the Leo energy in your workplace or at home. Or another thing I forgot to mention is Leo rules children, Leo rules games, Leo rules fun, Leo could even rule sports. So it could affect you in that way. It could affect you in relationships. Leo rules love and romance. Right. So there could be for some people, it could have something to do with relationships and how you express love in relationships. Um, so, yeah, these are some examples of how uh, the Leo energy can can be expressed for each person. Another thing to keep in mind is that uh, this eclipse is aligned with the star Regulus, um, which is one of the brightest stars that, that is visible to us. And Regulus is the um, heart of the lion. It's the heart of the Leo constellation which is different than the sign. The constellations and signs are different. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into that, but Leo is the heart of the constellation, Le uh, sorry, Regulus is the heart of the constellation Leo. In traditional times, you used to refer to this star as uh, one of the Persian royal stars or star of kings. Um, so the, f this, the fact that it's aligned with Regulus makes this eclipse even more powerful because Regulus is one of the most, uh, in traditional times, it was one of the most sort of um, stars that, it was a star, it was one of the stars that everyone, a lot of people paid more attention to. So this amplifies the, the powerfulness of this eclipse. And uh, again, it emphasizes the, you know, the coming from the heart, you know, the symbolism of the, the star being the heart of the lion and expressing from the heart more. Now, another interesting thing about this eclipse is that it's in a very, very tight and close uh, trine aspect with the planet Uranus, which is currently in Aries. Uranus is revolutionary. It's unconventional. It's innovative. It's exciting. Um, it rules anything that's forward thinking, progressive, technology. It even rules astrology, metaphysics. Um, so when I think of Uranus combined with Leo, I think of an energy that is... Um, I think of an energy that is very, like, you know, all about expressing yourself. Uranus is all about originality and authenticity. And Leo shines best, Leo energy shines best when we are expressing your, ourselves in our authentic way as well. So this really emphasizes the authenticity. Um, this is calling upon us to really express ourselves in our most authentic way. Right. So, for example, with the South Node in, in Aquarius, if you find your, that you've been living your life um, according to sort of uh, social standards of your friends or the type of, you know, the type of groups or, or people you hang out with, or maybe you're just getting out of high school and you're still caught in that whole um, collective consciousness of your high school friends or something like that, for example, uh, whatever it is, you know, if, if you find that you're too caught up in um, trying to fit in with the crowd, then this can be a time for you to really step more into your own originality, authenticity, to shine in the way where you shine best. Now, another thing I want to mention is that even though Leo is sort of like a superstar kind of energy, um, you know, not everybody, not everybody wants to be the star. Not everybody wants to be the lead singer of the band or, or, or anything like that. But there could be some area of your life, it could be in your personal life or whatever, there's some area of your life where you could be asked to shine more, you could be asked to use your creative energy more and express the Leo energies in some way that doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's all about you being a superstar. And it could be about being a superstar in your own way, in your own world, um, in, in whatever area it is in, in your life. Um, you know, so yeah, I'm not gonna repeat that. Um, now, another thing to consider is that Saturn um, is going to be ending its retrograde 
four, five, six days after this eclipse, 25th or 26th, Saturn ends its retrograde. It's been retrograde since April. So whenever a planet like Saturn and outer, a further planet changes um, from uh, retrograde to direct, that's usually when we notice its energies the most. And Saturn has to do with responsibilities. It could even have to do with career, it has to do with commitments. Um, has to do with discipline, has to do with caution, has to do with restriction. And with Saturn starting to go direct, um, which is going to pick up slowly over, you know, over the over the following month, um, this can be a time where we can possibly begin to move forward with some new responsibilities, some new commitments. Maybe there's something being solidified in your life, um, something to do with career, possibly. Um, is something to do with where you're deciding where you're going to devote your time, where you're going to put a lot of focus and concentration towards, for example. Um, what, whatever, the, whatever it is for you, once we get to like 25th, 26th, around, those, around that day, you might, things might start coming up for you. Um, if not, you know, over the following weeks, definitely things are going to start to move forward. Things are going to start to move, be a little bit more clear. Now, another thing I need to mention, which I forgot to mention, should have been one of the first things I mentioned, is that Mercury is also retrograde. Mercury started its retrograde. Um, it's currently retrograde right now, so it started before this eclipse. And it's going to be ending on um, September 5th or 6th. September 5th, it's going to be ending if, uh, if you're in the western part of the world. It's, uh, September 6th, early September 6th, if you're like Australia. Um, so <clears throat> what's interesting about this Mercury retrograde is that, uh, well, first of all, whenever Mer Mercury retrograde happens, which is roughly every three, four months, Mercury retrograde, we all, we're all familiar with the sort of complications that could come up during mercury retrograde which is what it's been which it's most popular for however from a, a deeper perspective mercury retrograde is all about you know creating changes created adjustments and sometimes it could even be some sort of transformation for you as well depending on uh, your natal astrology chart and um, some other factors as well but um, mercury retrograde is a time of changes and adjustments and it's very significant that we're having this mercury retrograde while the solar eclipse is happening and this mercury retrograde will also be returning backwards to the exact same spot of the zodiac 28 degrees leo 28 29 leo where the solar eclipse is occurring so this really emphasizes um the theme of sort of some kind of recalibration and some kind of adjustments that is going to help help us with these new beginnings that are going to initiate in the coming weeks now in the first week of september when mercury slows down and starts to go forward again um it's when it's going to be at that same spot like i said and it's also going to be in a trine with uranus like this eclipse is so i would imagine the first week of september is when a lot of these new beginnings a lot of these changes a lot of things that are coming up um, related to this eclipse, a lot of it's going to manifest the first week of September, and that will be a time where um, there could be some surprises, it could be some insights, it could be exciting. Um, and after September 5th and for those following weeks, there's going to be sort of a feeling of like moving forward. So Mercury is going to start moving forward again, while Saturn has just started to move forward, and you know we just ended eclipse season. And so there's going to be you know this fall, the, whatever's going on right now. Is going to create the tremendous changes and whatever needs to happen to help push us forward um, you know into the fall and even into the winter now um, one more thing i want to mention is that the star regulus um, it's even it, the star regulus has always been seen as a very fortunate star um, however you know one of the one of the, the the negative expressions of regulus is the potential of sort of gaining revenge right so when you combine that with the fact that it's an aspect with uranus uranus can be um very rebellious it's a very rebellious energy and regulus can be very vengeful a great example of this is donald trump donald trump has uh, regulus rising with mars and he's has a strong uranus energy so he's very vengeful very rebellious so the, it's potential there's a potential possibility that the negative vengeful and revenge energies of regulus could also come up during this time however uh, so i just want to kind of give you a little heads up and to be aware of that because the you know acting on revenge 
is sort of the, what can bring uh, a downfall as well, um, especially if people are born with Regulus. With this eclipse, I would say it is something to watch out for, revenge. Um, however, because it is a north node eclipse and it's more about our evolution and the direction we're moving towards, I would say there, this is more about the positive qualities of Regulus and the positive qualities of Leo, like I said before, authenticity, coming from the heart, tapping into your creative energies, tapping into your greatness, being the superstar of your life, being the superstar in whatever area of life it's affecting. Uh, these are the examples of how to work with this energy. This can be a good time for you to, uh, maybe if you've been thinking about, you know, going online, going on YouTube, sharing information with people, sharing your, your um, sharing what you want to share from the heart. This is an excellent energy for that. This is an excellent energy of just expressing yourself in new ways, like I said before. So um, that's all I'm going to say for now. Happy total solar eclipse. And um, if, if this is your first time seeing me um, and you like my work, I recommend um, you know following me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, uh, join my mailing list. Um, I put out articles on a regular basis talking about the astrology coming up. Sometimes I put out videos. Um, we also have a show on Collective Evolutions Explorer Lounge called Cosm, uh, which is a, it's sort of a subscriber members area, which is a, it's a new thing on Collective Evolution. You can see some videos on there as well that I will be doing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Happy Eclipse. Happy New Beginnings. Bless.